It's Sunday and we're eating healthy. So you're going to watch me carve up this watermelon into a shape. Now go ahead and get a little piece for you because, duh. Now continue to carve this watermelon into like a shape of a cake. Like this. Bottom tear is done, so let's do the top tear. I got one of those baby watermelons that did the same thing I did to the bottom tear. But wait, put that in the fridge. Now go ahead and get our level. Make sure the cake is nice and leveled. Once the shape is beautiful like me, go ahead and put it in the fridge and work on the other fruit. I cut a kiwi all pretty into a simple rose cut. Then I slice some strawberries in half and rinse off some other berries and fruits. And it's time to start decorating. Add the top tip to the bottom tip and get two skewers and stick it all the way down. We do not want this watermelon cake to move. Once that's in, get a whole lot of toothpicks and start placing the fruit and sticking the toothpicks into the backside. Do this all over till the cake is nice and full. This is how it first looked. Oh, but baby, trust the process because this is how it looked after I was done. Ain't it cute? Just a tad bit more finishing touches and you got boom. A fruit cake. Vegan friendly, gluten free, and no added preservatives. All right, bye.